In this video, you'll learn how to import your Spotify streaming history into Python and get started with analyzing your top artists each year. We'll go over three main things. Firstly, what your Spotify data looks like and how to import it into Python. Secondly, how to prepare the data for analysis. And then I'll demonstrate how you can find your number one artist each year. Let's jump into it. First, we'll import your Spotify data into Python. If you haven't already requested your data, I have a 30 second video which shows you how to do this. You'll eventually receive an email saying that your data is ready. It'll open up a website and your data will download immediately. A zip file will be downloaded called myspotifydata.zip. Double click this and it will unzip the file and reveal a folder called Spotify Extended Streaming History. Double click this and you'll see all of your JSON files which contain all of your streaming data. If you're not familiar with the JSON file, I'll open one now and show you what it looks like. And essentially every single song you've ever played and the metadata around that song and the streaming session will be contained within this file. And so the problem for us is how do we get all of these files into one place and get them in a format that allows us to analyze them? First, we'll define where our data actually is by saying what the parent folder is called. Now for me, it's in my downloads folder, slash users, slash my name, slash downloads, and then Spotify extended streaming history. Next, I'm going to define a variable called file name, and I'm just gonna name this as any one of the files within the folder. So if we head back to our data and pick any one of these, the way that I usually get really long file names is rather than remembering it and typing it out, is I'll right click it, click rename, and just control A, control C, and that will get me that file name. Now you may have noticed that all of these files have the same naming convention and that's streaming history audio underscore year underscore a number dot JSON. So what we can do here is we can create a wildcard in that we don't need the number and we don't need the year. We just need to put an asterisk here. And what this does is it tells Python that we're looking for a file called streaming history audio underscore something dot JSON. Now what I'm going to do is import pandas. And I'm also going to import a Python library called glob, which allows us to traverse a directory and go through that streaming history folder and get every single file out of it. Next, I'll define an empty data frame. And so as we get each of these JSON files, we're going to convert it into a temporary data frame and add it onto this larger data frame called DF. Next, I'll define a for loop, which will get every file in glob.glob, .glob, our parent folder. We'll add a slash for the folder and the file name. So this will say for every file, which looks like this, that is sitting within this. I'm going to have a temporary data frame which will simply read in the JSON file. And once that's been read in, I'm gonna add it onto my larger data frame which we've called DF. So what that does is we're going to use the concat function which starts with the original data frame and then we're going to also add on temp. Now if we run these two cells, I'll print out df.shape, which will tell me how many rows and columns I have. And then I'll also just inspect the data frame as well. So here we can see that I've got 248,000 records and 21 columns. And then this is what my data looks like. So we've successfully imported the data. Now that we have our data in, we're going to convert the column called TS. Now this is a timestamp, um, but at the moment this is just a string. We need to convert it into a date time format but also convert it to my local time zone, which is Sydney, Australia. Currently it's set to UTC. Next, we're going to convert the column TS to date time. And to do this, we simply say DFTS, so that is DF and the column timestamp is equal to PD dot to date time, and then the column name again. And then we need to tell it what format this string is in. Now I typically just copy and paste that into ChatGPT and ask it what format it's in. And for our use case, the format is this, which is just a, a way of saying, you know, it's, there's a year, then a dash, then a month and, and so on. And then we say UTC equals true. As I mentioned earlier, all of the timestamps in the Spotify data are set to UTC. 
So set this to true. Then we'll localize the data. Now for this, we import PYTZ, which is a Python library that handles time zones. And we first say what our time zone is. So I'm just gonna say my TZ is equal to PYTZ dot time zone. And it is Australia slash Sydney. Again, if you just Google or ask ChatGPT about the different time zones you can use for PYTZ, you'll be able to find the, the correct one for you. And then we do the actual converting of the time zone. And so for that, we just say DFTS is equal to DFTS dot DT dot TZ underscore convert. And then in brackets, you tell it what your time zone is. And now that's done, we're just going to sort our data. And to do that, we say df.sort values. And how are we gonna do it? Well, we're gonna do it by the column TS. And we want that to be in place. So that means it's gonna run this and it's gonna save it to the data frame. And now if we inspect our data frame, you'll see the first row should be from a very long time ago, so 2013. And the last column is 2024. Next, I'm going to extract the year from all of these timestamps. And to do that, we're gonna make a new column called year. And that's going to be equal to the timestamp. And then we just simply put dt.year at the end. And now if I have a look at the timestamp as well as the year, we'll see here that this one, the year is 2013 and this one, the year is 2024. So now we're set up to be able to have a look at all the data per year and work out what was the number one artist played in that year. Next, we'll have a look at who was the most played artist in 2024. Now to do that, we're going to group our data by our new column year, and then we're going to get the artist column. So to do that, I'm going to get my data frame and filter it such that the year is equal to 2024. And then I'm going to group that data by the artist column. And in the Spotify data, this is called Master Metadata Album Artist Name. So I'm gonna group by the artist and then we need to count something. So I use that same column and we're going to do a count. And so we can see here we've got a count. It looks like it's in alphabetical order, but we want to have it in the count order. So we can just do sort values and we want ascending to be false, i.e. we want it to be descending. And just like that, you can see that in 2024, my most streamed artist was Taylor Swift with 3,155, closely followed by Charlie XCX. It was Brat Summer after all with 975. Now I could go on and on analyzing this data. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing where you'll find some other videos such as one where I replicate Spotify wrapped and show you how you can find out all your top artists and genres uh, before Spotify wrapped is even released. Thanks for watching.